Alright, I would be lay, Minister Tarabajin, Bishop Rahim. And in Hamdullah, and after the whole one, I stay in the whole one, I stop for the whole one, after the lay, Minister Ruri and Fusina, when they say Yada Marina. Washer of Nai, Nada, Washer of Mohammed or Sulla, Son of Lahore, the Salam, Ababa. We begin in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful God. Truly and verily, all praise is due to Allah, Subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise only Him, we only seek His help and His forgiveness. We also seek breakfast in the loss for the law from the evil of our nafs, which is our common desires. For surely the nafs is inclined to do su. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, da'ifa, he created mankind, da'if. Right? So surely the nafs is inclined to do su, except by the rahmah of Allah. We obtain Allah's rahmah by obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obedience to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sunnah. We also seek breakfast in the loss of the law from the sayyati of al-inaf, meaning those actions that are not sanctioned by Allah from the Quran, and those actions that are not sanctioned by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the sunnah. Those from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be guided to Islam, blesses you with the characteristics of Islam, meaning submission to the will of commandment of Allah, no one can lead you astray, and those from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be led astray, off the surah of the mustaqeen, which is the Quran, the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. No one can guide you. We bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the one God who has no partners. Yeah. And we bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the same the Messenger Amma Abba. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the best speech is the speech of Allah and in the Quran. The best guidance, the best hadi, is the guidance of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and in the Sunnah. The worst of all matters, those things that are innovated by the people pertaining to this deen, to add to this deen, to delete this deen, to think that we can add or make this deen better than it was in the time of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the worst of all matters. For all innovation leads to bid'ah, all bid'ah leads to dalala. Dalala means born off the surah the mustaqim. All dalala is in the nar. All dalala is in the nar. The nar is the fire. This is another name for the fire. Or hellfire, nor all the land is in the nor. So we see refs in the last part from the nor. Rabbana atina fil dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina adab al nor. Allah gives good in this life, gives good in the next life, and save us from the punishment of the nor, save us from the punishment of the fire, ya Allah. Amen. What I want to do is go over our outline real quick of what we will be going over in our classes. Okay? Now, we just got through going through Isa, alayhi salam. We just got through going through uh, submission. What does it mean to submit? Okay? But that is not the first thing that we go over in class. There's some people here that's been in the class that have been through this part of the class already. We have a section that we're going to go through, which is called Tawhid. And we have a book that, that we, read, we wrote, inshallah, this is for us, for our class. Actually, there's two books. One is called Foundation. We're going to go through this book first. After we go through this book, inshallah, you guys will all get a copy of this. i got to get more copies of it. Then we'll go through the book, Tawheed. Everybody get a copy of this. Inshallah, we have a curriculum here at our school. This is a school curriculum. The first thing that we're going to teach is Tawheed. Okay, you guys are going to go through these two books. Foundation book. Excuse me, Foundation book. You're going to go through the Tawheed book. Okay, for the Tawheed section. Okay. There's a 55 question test when you guys finish it. You gotta get 80% or better. There's 55 questions. Okay? After that, we're gonna go into the Salat class, which again, we're gonna go through the high deeps of the Salat, how the Salat started, uh, so forth, so on. They go through the whole mechanics of the Salat. We have one book already for the Salat class, but we're still putting a book together, which has all the high deeps and everything in it with the bronze of the Salat. What happened, so forth, so on. We're putting, we already have it together. We just have to put it in book form. We're trying to find somebody, the best person to help us publish it, inshallah. But what we're trying to do is put together our own books for our own curriculum here in, in our classes that we have. So then, inshallah, when you guys go through this uh, uh, certain curriculum, the next uh, uh, group of people come in, we go through the same curriculum. They go through the same class. They go through the same books, right? They go through the same test, inshallah. Okay? After we go through the Salat, We'll go over how uh, uh, the obligations of zakat, you know, what is the thick of that, what is the thick, what is the understanding of that. Also, we're going to go into the hadith, the methodology of hadith. What are the hadiths? How do the hadiths are uh, sahih, hasan, da'if, maudu? Uh, what is the islam? What is it? How do you go through the chain of narration? How do you decipher? What are the six sahih books? We're going to go through that, inshallah. Also, in the class we're going to have, inshallah, as we see, we're doing the Arabic. But the Arabic, also, we're going to go into the tajweed which is the proper recitation of the Qur'an, 
Okay. Also, another class we've been going to is Tafsir, which is understanding the ayats, explaining the ayats, using the hadith to explain the ayats. Okay. Also, another class we're going to have is a Dawah class. Right? How to give Dawah to non Christians using the Bible. So, therefore, it'll be a whole class where we go over the Bible and find all the verses that coincide with the Quran, certain subjects in the Bible. If we want to discuss the hijab, what's all the, the verses from the Bible that coincide with the Quran? We want to talk about wudu or washing up before making salat. We'll go over all the verses in the Bible. To show certain Christians or whatnot, or family members that we want to bring to the deen, the same, uh, the similarities, inshallah. So these are, this is just an outline. I had nine of them. I haven't written down some of them, but I have a nine subject curriculum, inshallah. So right now we're just going like this. A lot of people coming and going and whatnot. Uh, we got on the subject of Easter because that was a subject matter that people wanted to talk about. Okay, but we will be going back, uh, back to the format. Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, when there's people that come into the religion, they come into the deen, first thing you teach them about is Tawheed. Bam, number one. Okay, so we're going through that. After they have a firm understanding of that, they teach them about the Salat. Boom, after that, teach them about the firm understanding of the Zakat. So there's a method, there's a pecking order, there's a structure in how we uh, uh, teach and how the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu told us how to teach, inshallah. So just so you know, these will be some of the curriculums that we will be going over. So... We really haven't even started yet. Okay, we really haven't even started yet. I haven't taught you none of these things yet. The methodology of hadith, you know, tafsir, you know, and we just touching the surface of dawah. We go through certain things, but we're going to go through a whole uh, curriculum of these things, inshallah. So without further ado, since you get those questions, 